So talk about that. You started, uh, you know, when you, you know, I don't want to call it a meteoric rise, but yeah, I mean, I yeah, you just spent a lot of time in the minor leagues, my friend. Yeah, I got lucky. Uh, when I was in college, I worked for like this startup blog called iSports Web that allowed me like blog about the Ravens and also like cover Michigan football and basketball. So I like got used to a press conference. Um, funny story. This guy named Andrew Hank, who was in the same grade as me. Um, he's actually now the Los Angeles Lakers equipment manager. Oh. So when you see you watch the Lakers and you see a guy needs a new shoe or new jersey, Andrew's the guy handed it to him. Um, but he was working for the Lansing State Journal in college where he was just answering phones at night. Uh, the, if this is an older audience you have, they they probably know about the 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 agate page in the newspaper you look in the back and it has kind of just like a list of scores pro teams you go that part of the paper you can see all the professional scores college scores the local high school scores yeah Uh, so like he would answer calls and like be the one to like input that stuff in like a really simple job and he's like hey my boss is looking for one more person to help with the phones he's like do you want to i was like i was like is it paid he's like yeah it's like minimum wage eight dollars an hour i was like yeah, like I needed a job and like I get I was like, worst come to worst. I I got experience there. I made money. Best case scenario, like the Lansing State Journal is one of the biggest papers in Michigan. I would say probably behind the Detroit papers, probably the biggest if I had yeah. to guess. And I was like, well, get my foot in the door at 18, 19 and do whatever they asked me to do. And maybe this turns into a not a lot of people start their first job there. Like that's probably like a second job for a sure. lot of people. So if sure. I can get my foot in the door and um, that be my first job out of college, like that's a win. And that's what ended up happening. So I grinded in college. Like I gave up Thursdays through Sundays to, for a lot of it to answer phone calls. I answer calls from high school coaches and volleyball coaches and football coaches. Yeah. And then when I graduated, I had, by that point, he had like given me assignments to do. Like I cover some Michigan State hockey, some small Michigan State basketball games. So like getting better as a writer, he could see it and yeah but by the time i graduated they offered me a job and i worked there for two and a half years before i came here nice how did you get on their radar at the athletic as it's told to me um i had written some like big profiles features kind of like what i do now covering the pistons like kind of like who the people are stories yeah um on local people in lansing and um so like I had gotten a little bit of a, a name if you were like paying attention to sports writing in Michigan, like if you were a sports writing nerd, not like everybody, I don't say anybody outside of the state <laughs> knew who I was, maybe a few. Um, but yeah, I'd written some sort some stories that were well received and um, I was covering a state championship soccer game and then had to go to, to a state championship baseball game after. And on my way to the baseball game, I get a call from Graham Couch, who was a columnist at the, who is still a columnist at the Lansing State Journal. Like, hey, uh, Craig Custance, who, if you follow the athletic, you know who Craig is. He's one, he's like the Adam Schefter of NHL in America. Um, he started the athletic. Well, he was the guy they hired to start the athletic Detroit. He was like, yeah, he called me asking about you, and he he's been asking around about young promising writers who. He could hire to cover the Pistons. Wow. And um, he's like, every time he asked somebody, like, my name came up. So mm. um, we talked a few weeks later, or a couple of days later, a few weeks later, whatever. And, yeah, um, it, it, I ended up getting hired. And it was, I would say, I, yeah, I started in August. I would say the process then started in, like, May. And it was, yeah, from May to August, kind of wondering what was up. And then, yeah, they got the call in August. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, they got it right. I don't know how, how they did in some of the other markets. I'm sure they swung and missed, uh, you know. Yeah, for sure. Um, Like, so so being in sales and just uh, like this networking connector type of guy, sometimes you just have to like pick a side and like just throw some money down on, on a bet that may not seem like the biggest bet, right? Yeah. Um, And you see how people sort of, align themselves with with folks and i just believe in him i believe in her i believe mm-hmm. in their mission their their vision um when i think about 
what the athletic sounds like that they did was they 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 did some similar things. They saw some promise. They got some, you know, some recommendations. And then they said, hey, we're just going to, you know. Yeah, I, th- I think it was a case by case basis. So, like, at the time, the Pistons were even more woeful than they were when I covered them. And I, since I've been covering them. Believe it or not. Yeah. 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 So it's like for the Pistons, again, we're a subscription based company. It's like, well they're not very good right now. Let's get somebody young that we believe in and let him grow with this team because nobody, um, it, it might not just have the biggest audience, yeah. which ended up not being true. Um, and thankfully and luckily I grew. And as I grew, I think, um, I don't know if a lot of the fan base grab it became interested maybe because of some are reinterested because of some stories or, um, that big fan base that we all know about Detroit having for years kind of just came back at the, around the same time. So yeah. I don't know what worked out, but for other teams like the lions, as, as you know, the lions are a terrible franchise, but people care. So they're going to, they're going to spend big. They're going to go get the big name for the lions guy, uh, Michigan state, Michigan. They're going to go get the big names for those guys. Cause those, those teams will sell subscriptions. Sure. 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 So, I, so I, yeah, yeah. There, there's certain certain, like, you could take a gamble on the Red Wings and the Pistons and the Tigers because those fan bases are a little more finicky at the right. time they were, at least. Now, um, Detroit does very well in terms of, despite having all these bad teams, <laughs> we do pretty good. Yeah. Well, we're. All-